Guess what? Sam Altman, the big boss of OpenAI, is kicking off an epic project, aiming for a jaw-dropping investment goal of $7 trillion. To put that into perspective, that's more money than the entire economies of Japan, Germany, and India put together. And I'm not kidding around. In this video, I'm diving deep into all the details about this wild project and why it's a game changer for the future of AI. But before we dive in, do me a favor. Smash that like button, hit subscribe if you're new here, and ring that notification bell so you're always in the loop with my latest videos. All right, let's jump right in. So what's the big deal with this project? Let me break it down for you. OpenAI is a giant in the AI research field, famous for creating some mind-blowing tech like ChatGPT and DAL-E. But here's the catch. We're running low on AI chips, the brains behind these innovations. This shortage is a huge roadblock, slowing down AI advancements not just for OpenAI, but for major tech giants across the globe. Now here's where Sam Altman steps up with a daring solution. He's setting his sights on transforming the entire semiconductor industry with a massive goal to boost AI chip production like never before. Altman's plan? To bring together chip manufacturers, suppliers, and users to fuel the fast-paced growth of AI. This ambitious mission won't come cheap. It's estimated to need a whopping dollar five to seven trillion dollars in investment. And Altman isn't wasting any time. He's already in talks with big potential backers like the UAE and turning to social media to rally support for creating a solid AI infrastructure. This infrastructure is essential to meet the increasing demands for data processing and energy that AI's future depends on. This bold initiative by Sam Altman opens up a whole can of worms regarding funding, potential risks, and what this means for the future of AI. So, what exactly is Altman's grand vision for the global semiconductor industry and AI's backbone? To get a grip on that, we first need to take a hard look at the current state of the AI chip market. And let me tell you, the picture isn't pretty, it's actually quite grim. All right, let's dive into the heart of the AI chip market, which is pretty much ruled by a few big names. NVIDIA is at the top of the game, leading the pack with giants like Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm trailing behind. These companies are the brains behind the AI chips we rely on and have been in the game for a long time, packing loads of expertise and experience. But it's not all smooth sailing for them. They're hitting some pretty big roadblocks. First off, they're struggling to keep up with the skyrocketing demand for AI chips. The world wants more than they can crank out. Then there's the challenge of innovation. They're pushing the limits of current chip technology, but it's tough to make big leaps forward due to physical and technical constraints. And lastly, pricing is a huge hurdle. With the competition heating up across other tech sectors like smartphones, gaming, cloud computing, and cars, Keeping AI chips affordable is becoming increasingly difficult. For organizations like OpenAI, this chip crunch is a massive headache. They're in a tough spot because they just can't get their hands on enough chips to fuel their AI dreams. This bottleneck is putting the brakes on their capacity to expand and bring new innovations to life. And Sam Altman, he's not standing for it. He's on a mission to revolutionize the status quo and ensure there's an abundance of AI chips that are both affordable and on the cutting edge of technology. He imagines a future where AI can soar without being held back by current limitations. How does he plan to turn this dream into reality? By kickstarting a brand new chip ecosystem that unites chip makers, suppliers, and users to address the world's AI demands head on. His strategy includes pouring investments into chip companies, setting up factories geared towards efficient chip production, and diving into groundbreaking chip technologies like neuromorphic and quantum chips. Plus, he's keen on collaborating with other AI organizations, governments, and anyone else who's game to join forces in making this ambitious vision come to life. Altman's blueprint is daring, no doubt, packed with hurdles, yet brimming with possibilities to reshape the landscape of AI and chip manufacturing. Now, why the sudden urgency for a whole new semiconductor strategy and a revamped AI infrastructure? Well, the answer's simple. The current setup just isn't cutting it anymore. It's falling short on all fronts. Struggling to match the skyrocketing demand for AI, failing to fuel its expansion, lagging behind in fostering innovation, and ultimately not providing the security AI needs to thrive in the long haul. AI isn't just a bunch of gadgets or tools. It's a game changer, reshaping how we navigate every aspect of our lives. It's not only bringing in fresh possibilities and puzzles to solve, but occasionally stirring up challenges too. AI is in the business of rewriting the script on how we think, talk, learn, work, play, and simply exist. It's a dynamic force racing ahead at a pace that's tough to predict, let alone keep up with. And this force is growing at an astonishing speed, Let's throw some numbers into the mix to really drive the point home. Experts predict that the AI market might swell to a whopping $267 billion by 2027, boasting a mind-blowing annual growth rate of 33.2%. Wrap your head around this. Computing power for AI could double every 3.4 months, skyrocketing by 300,000 times in just a decade. Fast forward to 2030. 
an AI could inject a staggering $15.7 trillion into the global economy, propelling it up by a solid 14%. These figures paint a vivid picture of AI's rapid expansion and colossal impact. But here's the kicker. Our current setup is falling short. It's struggling to handle the massive data AI churns through and generates, failing to meet the enormous energy demands AI has, stumbling in delivering the hefty computing power AI craves, grappling with the diverse array of AI models, and struggling to keep pace with the multitude of AI applications available. This is precisely why we need a semiconductor shakeup, and we need it pronto. Now that we understand Sam Altman's grand plan and why it's crucial, the million dollar question arises, where on earth will he find the colossal sum needed to pull off this project? We're talking about a jaw-dropping dollar five to seven trillion dollars here, nothing short of astronomical. To put it in perspective, it dwarfs the entire budget of the United States for 2020, outstrips the combined wealth of the world's top 10 richest individuals, and even eclipses the market value of tech titans like Apple and Google combined. So the burning question remains, where will this money materialize from? Who on earth would be willing to bankroll such a monumental investment? And what's in it for them? One potential source of funding could come from sovereign wealth funds, gigantic investment pools managed by countries. These funds are flush with cash, and often seek out substantial long-term projects that promise to bolster their economies and societies. Take, for instance, the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, a colossal fund in the UAE boasting over a trillion dollars earmarked for investments. They cast their net wide, investing globally in sectors like technology, infrastructure, and energy. The UAE, with whom Sam Altman has been in talks, could emerge as a pivotal player in financing his vision. They bring not only substantial financial backing, but also access to the burgeoning AI market in the Middle East. However, relying on sovereign wealth funds comes with its share of caveats. They tend to operate with a degree of secrecy and may have their own agendas lurking beneath the surface. Additionally, they might seek a level of control over the project's trajectory, potentially leading to conflicts of interest. Furthermore, there's the looming specter of political ramifications, especially if other nations perceive the project as a threat to their own interests. Tech behemoths such as Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, and Apple stand as formidable contenders for investment in Altman's venture. With substantial financial resources at their disposal, they constantly seek out cutting-edge technologies that can drive their businesses forward. Microsoft, having established ties with OpenAI, could emerge as a potent ally, providing both financial backing and technical expertise. Nevertheless, securing funds from these tech giants could introduce complexities into the equation. They may seek exclusive rights to the new chips, potentially restricting their availability for other AI projects. Moreover, their vested interests could lead to the promotion of their own technological priorities, potentially overshadowing the needs of other stakeholders. While partnering with tech giants presents lucrative opportunities, it also brings forth a host of potential challenges and considerations. Lastly, there's the option of tapping into the public market. Companies can amass significant capital by offering shares to the public. NVIDIA, a frontrunner in AI chips, successfully raised billions through this avenue. Altman could follow a similar path by establishing a new company dedicated to the development and distribution of AI chips, subsequently initiating an initial public offering, IPO, to generate the necessary funds. This approach boasts certain advantages. It's transparent, democratic, and has the potential to yield substantial funding. However, it's not without its drawbacks. The public market is inherently volatile, susceptible to fluctuations driven by news and trends, and may not guarantee stable funding over the long term. Furthermore, going public entails navigating a labyrinth of regulations, mandatory disclosures, and accommodating shareholder demands. While leveraging the public market offers significant opportunities, it also presents considerable challenges and complexities that must be carefully weighed. Indeed, each funding avenue presents its own set of advantages and challenges, and Altman will likely need to employ a blend of these sources to meet his ambitious funding target. However, one thing remains abundantly clear. Securing the necessary funds won't be a walk in the park. It will demand extensive negotiation, flexibility, and strategic maneuvering. Even with meticulous planning, success is far from assured. The risks are substantial, and the stakes are monumental. Nevertheless, if Altman can navigate these turbulent waters and emerge victorious, the potential impact on the realm of AI and beyond could be nothing short of revolutionary. Sam Altman's ambitious plan is a bold endeavor, aimed at addressing significant challenges in the AI landscape. Its feasibility hinges on effective execution, collaboration with stakeholders, and navigating the complex funding landscape. If successful, Altman's initiative could reshape the future of AI, 
driving innovation and potentially contributing trillions to the global economy. However, the road ahead is fraught with uncertainties and risks, including securing massive funding and potential conflicts of interest. Your thoughts on Altman's plan? Share in the comments below. If you found this discussion insightful, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.